Well, I'm pretty sure you guys heard the news just like I have. Vasily Lomachenko is claiming that the judges for his fight with Teofimo Lopez was bribed. Let's talk about it. That's right. Vasily Homachenko is out here doing the Deontay Wilder. And don't say he's not. When Deontay Wilder lost, he went to blaming a referee to Mark Breland to his damn costume, okay? Vasily Lomachenko lose. He went for blaming this person to blaming that person to saying he got a shoulder injury and now he's saying the judges is being bribed. It's the same shit. Notice. He's never had nothing ill to say about any judges, never talk about any corruption in boxing until he loses, okay? Nothing until he loses. Then all of a sudden, it's this, that, and the third. Well, your dumb ass should have had a rematch clause, you fool, you know? Then you're going to talk about, you're going to go into the fight with an injury. You're going to go into the fight with an injury and no rematch clause? That just make you look like an idiot. You really don't deserve a rematch. Perry. But, see, I'm not like them. I'm down for you getting your ass whooped again. See, I'm not against rematches. Some fanboys out here are. I'm not, you know. But, nonetheless, man. Vasily Lomachenko only won three rounds. Everybody knows he got froze up for six straight fucking rounds. Everybody knows that. But you sit up here trying to tell the world that the judges were bribed. Man, shut your ass up. That's why I'm so glad he fucking lost. He's really mad that his foreign white fighter insurance expired. That's what he's really mad about. Notice he can he can call out all the corruption in the world. He ain't had shit to say when they was manipulating his boxing records. Them is facts on top of facts. Okay? He ain't had shit to say. But I could do you one better than that. This is what your own damn promoter said about you. Ridiculous. Aram said to ESPN about the way that Lomachenko fought in the first seven rounds against Tofamo, he gave away half the fight. He Lomachenko came on, but it was too late. It seems to be that the 135 pound guys are too big for him, Aram said. Okay, now that's your own damn promoter. Okay, they know that your ass got froze up for six straight rounds. Everybody know that. You can't deny that, even if you wanted to. There's no way to run. Talking all this, 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 this. Uh, man, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Devin Haney's out there for you. You want to take that fight? Of course you don't, man. You know? So at the end of the day, as long as you got Bob Aram telling you to your face, your own damn manager, that you are uh, your ass freezed up for six damn rounds, man, you ain't got nothing for a Teofimo Lopez, man. You had 12 rounds to decide your fucking fate. And you took six of them and threw it straight in the fucking trash. What do you expect? The fuck do you expect? You know, now there's just nothing to do with Lomachenko. There's no place for him to go. He can't rebuild himself. He can't fuck with the guys at 135. There's nothing for, there's literally nothing for you to do. And I'm laughing at your ass because that's exactly what motherfuckers get. But keep trying to create these hype jobs and these fictional foreign uh x hbo uh hype jobs you know yes i know vasily lomachenko is not a hype job he's overrated yes i i do know that but still nonetheless fucking hype job okay you lost bro you won three rounds in a 12 round fight you lost now as far as the rematch go i'm down for you getting your ass whooped again I'm not against rematches. I'm not. You know? But it's funny how you say that the judges were as corrupt on you and stuff like that. Because how could you and Teofimo Lopez be complaining of the same thing? How the fuck you say the judges was uh, was bribed and they was trying to rob Teofimo Lopez? Not you. They was trying to rob you. And most importantly, you know you fucking lost. You knew you fucking lost. That's why you ain't come out your corner, and, and, and that's why you ain't turn around. And when they announced his name, you nod your head like, yeah, fair game. 
Fair game. So stop that shit. But I'm going to tell you something that's even more interesting that your own people are writing about you. This is what they say about you. You're not asking for no rematch. You don't want no rematch. I, I already told people before, too. The main people advocating for a rematch is everybody but Lomachenko. Is everybody but Lomachenko. Okay? Now that's, more, now, that's on more than one occasion you show me you're not a real champion. Number one, you let Salito get away with a win over you, and you didn't avenge it. All real champions avenge their loss. From Lennox Lewis to Anthony Joshua to, uh, to uh, Sugar Ray Leonard. All real champions avenge their fucking loss. You ain't want to do it. You know? And, and so much to the soul that you didn't even have a rematch clause. How the fuck you ain't have a rematch clause and you was injured? That's not smart. That's not smart at all. The truth of the matter is you didn't want to fight Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez put his ass in position where you couldn't avoid him, where you had to because you just got done ducking Devin Haney. And speaking of Devin Haney, you want something to do. Devin Haney is right there. He got your old belt. So why don't you do something that you were supposed to do in the first place before you took franchise champion? Why don't you go fight Devin Haney? It'll at least get you a belt back. And for Devin Haney, it'll give you a chance, the opportunity to fight the man who he got the belt from. It's a win-win for both people, if you ask me. It's a win-win for both. But nonetheless, I'm glad this hype job out of there, man. So sick of Lomachenko, man. He does nothing for American boxing. All the interviews he does is in Russian and in Ukraine. He does nothing for America. So I don't know why Americans are quick, so quick to jump behind these foreigners, but won't jump behind any of their fucking American fighters. Even if they fucking white on top of that. Y'all are some fucked up people. Period. But I'm sick of these foreigners coming here and getting all this fucking love. And passes. Look at fucking Triple G. Who the fuck is Triple G fighting? Camille, who, who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is it? Nobody's even talking about that fight. That is supposed to be Triple G, pound for pound. Somebody that y'all compare to Marvin Hagler. Fight motherfuckers like this. But once again, he came off that HBO foreign exchange program. And, and, and it's something I'm going to say about triple, triple fraud ass. If y'all keep putting Triple G on a fucking pound for pound list, then you damn near... You better put Errol Spence on there. Because if you can put Triple G on there, wherever you place Triple G, Errol Spence will either be in his spot or above him. Because that man ain't done shit. Literally shit. I don't want to care about who was ducking him and who ain't want to fight. Man, shut that shit up. Shut the fuck up with that. All right? Because all that man get used is, is three fucking fights. Kale, Danny, and Canelo. That's all this motherfucker's done. And he's in the hall and he's in a uh, uh the pound for pound list for what? For what? Shit fucking amazes me with America and your love for these fucking foreign fucking fighters. It's crazy. I can hear somebody right now. Oh, uh, Bruce, that's pretty funny for you. Come to somebody who like Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua the truth. Shut the fuck up. Shit. But that's why I'm glad this shit over with. And I'm glad new media is here. Shit. Even though, like my boy said, <laughs> what my man say, yeah, y'all new media started to act like old media now. <laughs> But uh, nonetheless, man, um, that train has left the station. Uh, Lomachenko need to go sit his little ass down somewhere. You know, um, the gravy train is over. Uh, no more white privilege in boxing. So I don't know what he's expecting. I don't know what y'all is fucking expecting. If you want to get out here and get something, you're going to have to get out here and get it. Just like the rest of us, minority fighters got to go out here and do it. We got to earn that shit the hard way. You got to climb the fucking ladder. You got to do what the fuck you got to do. And like I said, Lomachenko, Devin Haney is waiting right there. Take it. Take it. Take it. Because that could both help both of y'all out. 
But in the meantime, you sit up here talk about somebody robbed you when your own damn manager say you lost six rounds. Ain't a good look, buddy. Even if Bob Aram ain't shit. But then again, that's just my thoughts. Bruce Vane, I'm out.